everybody, this is gonna be a quick video because look, I don't have a box, but that's okay because we don't collect boxes here on this channel. I know that some of you do, but this is called Nostalgia Unboxed, okay? Now, it's already been unboxed, thankfully, because our friend, Jay, which, uh, you know what? Go go check out Jay's channel. Him and two other folks do an, uh, a basically a 12-minute show that they interview different people, but generally toy photographers, and they get 12 minutes only, and they have to boom, 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 and then they have like a wrap and fire at the end it's actually pretty fun i was on there but they have a lot of great guests so go check out behind the plastic link is in the description and say hey jay thanks man because we got to watch that video because of you but look look at these beautiful boys okay one's an old man one's a teenager supposed to be but generally you know they're adults <laughs> before we get like too deep into this michelangelo and alfred from the batman versus teenage mutant ninja turtles movie that came out a couple years ago and it's a beautiful set of figures but i want to say that the online images of this set show alfred with a superman cup and different sets of hands so now we got this one, this set's mirrored, this, and then he's got this. What's going on with this? We're just kind of jumping into it, I know, but like, <laughs> I don't know if that's supposed to be designed to go after like a, uh, a cup, but someone in the comments is gonna go, oh no, there's a scene in the movie where Alfred gets X and then he uses X because that's what happened with the uh, Batman and Raphael's size. That's why Batman has like, these kinds of hands. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so weird. Random tangents. So this is one of the like more affordable sets these days anyway. When they came out, uh, if, I, if memory serves me correctly, the sets were $50, regardless of which set of figures you got. Now this set, you can generally find between $40 and $50 plus shipping. So they don't hold a lot of value, but Michelangelo looks freaking good, man. This looks really, really good. I'm, I'm loving this set already, but some of the others, like I already reviewed the Batman with Leonardo, not worth it because those are things, th th those are things that are worth like $100 for the set, which is insane. The Donatello with Batgirl also reviewed. Those are definitely worth it because like these don't quite hold a heavy value. Don't quite hold. So let's just jump in, right? We got a lot of stuff to look at. So let's start with Alfred's hands. He's got this uh, kind of classy, fancy man hand, a fancy man hand, and it's the same, but both, but for other sides. Oops, it's a little scuffed up. It's okay. It's lived. It's, it's lived a long life in somebody else's house, and then it was in a bag, and you know, paint got transferred, or maybe I don't know. It doesn't matter. These things, I, I cannot complain. Again, thank you to Jay, you know, help him support the channel. Honestly, everything, he, he, because of him, we've gotten anything. So here he's got his his slapping hand, because Alfred, you know, <laughs> classic. He's always slapping people. So you got that hand, and then you got this, because whatever reason, whatever reason. Now, I know you could probably get this in there, but that doesn't make sense. That don't make no sense, boy. Come on now, look at that. Don't make no sense. <laughs> but here we got a super basic little mug. I wish it was the Superman mug. Why Why couldn't we get that? I mean, they already have the, the rights, right? <laughs> and of course, they always get these little pizza slices. And these are actually some of my favorite slices of pizza from all the iterations of the turtle cartoons figures. Between what NECA does for the movie, the cartoon, and Super 7, these are these are some of my favorite pizzas. And this sweet skateboard, which looks a lot like the one that comes with the Toon accessory set, is that right? Or the movie accessory set? The movie, the movie one? I don't remember. Oh, but it's actually got like a little bit of a texture there. This is nice. Uh, the wheels do not move though, which is a very strange choice. It seems like you're almost there Anybody else, any other manufacturers building a skate? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I guess that you can at least have him stand on it and it not just roll off your shelf. So maybe that's a plus. If you want it to roll, then just get a tech deck. Am I right? <laughs> Alfred's details. Look at that. Look at that man. He looks like he has been serving Master Wayne for way too long. And it is just wearing him down. <laughs> Oh, but these figures are not known for articulation and I can already tell with his head is just like, it's not going anywhere. Side to side, that's all you get. So Alfred, uh, he's not gonna be fighting crime, okay? He just can't handle it physically or mentally at this point. We got some very basic joints in these things. Again, if you've watched any of the other reviews or you're familiar with these things, 
the articulation is not one of their high points, okay? These are just like kind of really nice looking sculpts. But this guy, you'd think as thin and tall as he is that he would uh, not be good for standing. But look, he does it no problem. He's actually, he doesn't feel unbalanced weight wise. I don't, I don't know how they did that. This is great. But yeah, again, articulations, nothing spectacular, nothing really to even talk about <laughs> other than it's uh, it's kind of sad. But you can still get some like decent dynamic poses. So if he's maybe practicing some yoga, he's not going to be very good at it because he's an old man. His bones are achy. I know what that's like. But it's cool, I like it, and no peg holes in the in the feet, which is, uh, you know, honestly always a problem when that, when that's, that's uh, something I, I think I'm supposed to continue talking. That's not something I like to see. I want the holes in the bottom of their feet. I mean, it doesn't hurt the sculpt, really, because look, just put some peg holes in there. <laughs> anyway, Michelangelo, let's talk about him. Looking real good, I love that expression. He's maybe one of my favorite out of the set so far. One of my favorites uh, out of the set so far. Look at this, like barely, that, that's not even 90 degrees on the elbow. <laughs> it's so bad. He, did I snort? He might be one of the worst for elbow articulation. Honestly, that's like <laughs> so bad. But he looks so good. And I love the nunchucks. I love the way they dealt with the belts on all of them. They all have this kind of like unique way of showing their uh, initial on there. But there you go, little nun, little nunchuck, nunchuck. -a. But double jointed knees in these figures, uh, which definitely helps in the lower half, but they they really could have benefited from double jointed elbows because that is, that is really bad. <laughs> these again, they're just good looking figures to kind of display, get find this kind of like just off of vanilla pose and then kind of leave them there. With Michelangelo, you get the nunchucks, which look like this. So up close and personal, baby. There you go. Some nice sculpt in there. I like that. And then the pizza, we've already seen. We've seen it. It looks just like the other one because it is the same thing. He's got a grippy hand and a punchy hand and then reversed was, was on him when he got to me. So two grippy hands, two punchy hands, and then two slap him hands. You gotta keep your pimp hand strong, <laughs> which he's got a wart. Um, but of course I will do a little height comparison with some other figures and then let you see that these things are what they, what they, what the, <laughs> God, what they look like next to their counterparts that I've uh, reviewed already. And what's really, really nice about these is that the turtles all have their own size. I think most of them are kind of using the similar body, but they are all different sizes, which is really, really nice. That's kind of one thing that with the turtles has always, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. It's common to see the turtles in different heights, but you don't always get them in action figure form to represent that. So I'm, that's one of my favorite parts, I think about this. But anyway, let's, uh, let's move on, okay, to the posing segment and let's see what we can get out of these guys and just have some fun. But that means that this is essentially the end of the video, the posing segment. I hope you stay for that because it's always fun and it takes actually a, a long time. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching and uh, we'll see you next time.